Hello friends! My name is Coco and you don't know me and I don't know you, but I am very happy you're alive today. Today is Wednesday. I hope you guys had a good day today. My day has been very good. I kind of took a day off from doing my work online and trying to <laughs> hobble around the house and get things done. Um, you know, I've been having like these weird dreams where I can't get away and I think it's my brain of processing um, my injury. I guess. I don't know. It's like it's every night I'm like dreaming that I can't get away from something and my legs work in my dreams, but I don't know. I just I can't get away. So um, I really haven't been sleeping, I guess, um, you know, because Elias is telling me I'm kind of, you know, making noises and I'm like knocked out when he wakes up, which is like rare, really, really rare. Um, so I just decided to give myself the kind of day off so I could relax. I took a lot of naps, which I never do. So I'm really happy that I kind of took some TLC today. So anyway, um, you know, just kind of reminding you of that point too. If you need to, you're okay to take a day to give yourself some TLC, okay? You know, sometimes, like I said, we get caught up with our routine and sometimes we don't catch ourselves, you know? The thing about triggers is, is that they come in moments where we don't usually expect them. Um, but what's good about triggers, in a sense, is if we can identify what triggers us, then we know that when it's coming our way, it's not us and how we feel and this is who we are. It's just that something triggered us and we're feeling this way, but it's okay. It doesn't mean that that's exactly what's going on right now. It just means that we had a trigger, it happened, and now we're just going to try to deal with it as best as we can. So in those moments, I feel like I go from saying, God, you know, why are you doing this? Why are you being this way? Why can't you do this? And when I kind of see a trigger and I know that it's triggering me, even though it's bugging me, even though I'm starting to feel a little elevated, I can tell myself, okay, just, you know what? You know, this is kind of triggering you. You know, this is upsetting you. Why don't you go do something or give yourself a break? Or why don't you go open up your treasure chest of things that make you happy before you full blown go into a really bad day? So, you know, with my foot being broken, I was kind of uh, broken, <laughs> sprained, broken. See, I'm making it worse. <laughs> with my foot being sprained, um, you know, I've been feeling kind of low. I've been really kind of nabbing at myself and little things have been triggering me to really kind of just feel completely overwhelmed, like zero to a hundred. And I finally kind of identified that, you know what, I really need to rest and kind of give myself a day off because I'm still trying to go nonstop as if I didn't hurt myself. I'm still trying to like maintain the house and, you know, I was even thinking of doing laundry and I'm like, what am I doing? There's no way I can pull laundry behind me while hobbling off of crutches. Um, but, you know, it, it was kind of after a while I was starting to realize, you know, my little triggers were happening. And I was very fortunate to know the little things that were triggering me and saying, okay, take a step back and, and realize that you kind of need a break right now. You need a breather. So that's kind of the point I wanted to bring up. I gave myself a day off because I was getting these little triggers going on throughout my day that were going from zero to 100 when it really didn't need to be. Um, and luckily, because I knew that those things were triggering me, I was able to sit down today in the shower, which I totally sat and took a shower. I was so proud of myself, though. I made it in the shower. I didn't, I didn't fall. I didn't get hurt. I totally made it over the tub and back over and around, which was like my big accomplishment for the day. But, you know, I, I kind of tend to do some thinking in the shower. So I was thinking about it. Why am I, why am I getting so frustrated with myself? Why am I getting so overwhelmed so quickly at the little things and it was just because I don't want anyone to take on more I don't want anyone to have to work harder because of me and my injury so I'm trying to prove that I can still do these things but nobody's asking me to so I'm working harder because of these little triggers of well no because you see now uh, Elias has to come home and walk the dogs and so now I, I need to hurry up and blah 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 so then I'm trying to walk the dogs and of course they don't know what's going on so they're not acting you know in the best of ways and because they're not acting in the best of ways I'm not acting in the best of ways and I'm just getting upset and you see how it's like that bah, 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 bah. it's just one thing after another instead of saying okay I'm feeling triggered because I don't want to feel like I'm putting other people out of their way for me but that's not the case because Elias tells me all the time he would rather me, you know, stay home, stay off my foot and get better instead of me trying to walk the dogs, falling on my foot, which totally happened one day, and then getting hurt even more, which was worrying him unnecessarily. So, you know, 
I was able to kind of identify those things. I wanted to share that with you to say, look, you know, if you really kind of stressing about something, kind of know your triggers so you can at least identify that it's not you. It's just these little things are triggering you to feel that way. And if we can kind of redirect our thinking to know that it's not you that's the issue, it's the depression, it's this mental illness, then maybe it will help kind of relieve some of that pressure you feel that I am what's wrong, I am what's bad, because ultimately it isn't you that's bad, it isn't you that's wrong. You are doing the best that you can and you are an amazing person. It's just that we have depression and sometimes depression makes us feel like we can be the worst people in the world. But we know that's wrong, right? Right. <laughs> Don't say no, you're supposed to say right. <laughs> so anyway... I love you all. Do the best you can. That's all that anybody asks for. And remember, I am very happy you're alive today, okay? All right, guys. Well, hopefully that kind of helped. I just wanted to kind of give my experience to kind of show you guys that, you know, it's really good to identify your triggers. It's good to know it. So, you know, maybe we can work forward with the more that we know in terms of us and our depression. So I hope you guys have a good day. Hopefully that helped. Let me know. And if not, we can keep trying, okay? All right, friends, have a good evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.